Hello everyone, welcome to PipeFi. Today, I'll be demonstrating a classic request management process. My name is Isa, and I'm a part of the Solutions Engineering team. When speaking of request management, some common examples of processes are HR requests, such as vacation, salary, or benefit requests, finance requests, such as reimbursement and purchase requests, and even more specific cases, such as inspection or compensation requests. The logic can be applied to any process where a requester, such as a customer, supplier, or other stakeholder, submits a request for a team to solve. Over the years, we have identified common request management cases among our clients and identified the main challenges related to these processes. High request response lead time facing difficulties in deadline management, difficulties opening new requests due to a scattered and decentralized process, low transparency as request statuses for both the requester and the leadership, and low communication quality that hindered the collaboration among team members and key stakeholders. If these challenges look familiar, our platform can help. With Pipefly, you will be able to centralize requests without reducing the variety of channels your requester can use, standardize and control the whole request process in a single place, promoting visibility and governance over your operation. Make the communication easy for all stakeholders, automating notifications through messages and email. And easily access your request process data, gaining real-time visibility over deadlines and key KPIs. In PipeFi, we can identify three main roles in an operation. Requesters, agents, and leaders. The whole process starts with a demand being submitted by a requester. Some examples of these demands in a request management process are purchase demands, vacation requests, and IT support tickets. For the requester, it is important to have flexibility and easy access to the request channels. This can be achieved in PyFi since we can enable a variety of usual tools for the requester to submit their demands. One of the easiest ways of opening a request is through forms that the requester can access publicly through a link or privately through a PipeFi login. These forms can be centralized in a request portal or the requester can access them directly through the PipeFi app. Now we fill in the form and the request will be on the way to be solved by the team. On the requester side, they will be able to follow their request while it moves forward by accessing the request tracker portal. The benefit of opening request through forms is to receive a complete and standardized data Additionally, PipeFi also supports opening requests directly from a received email, as well as through messaging platforms such as Slack, Teams, and SMS. In this format, all the requester has to do is send a message to the process's email address or phone, and a new request is created in PipeFi. Now that we have created new requests, let's jump to the perspective of the agent. Agents represent the teams that work on the request inside of PipeFi. By accessing the work environment, let's choose the process we would like to work on. Here we have a full overview of the process steps and ongoing requests. The agent can quickly see everything in a centralized and organized way. New requests will always arrive in the inbox step and soon can be handled by the team. We can choose one of the requests to work on and start filling the fields. Notice that we can automate this step, feeling the analyst responsible for the request automatically according to certain business requirements of the team, as well as register deadlines according to the time the request was created. As soon as this initial screening of the request is done, it can be executed by the team. In execution, we register the resolution of the request. It is possible to ask for extra support, escalating the request to a specialist, or mark it as done and generate with a single click a fully customized report containing the activities performed to be signed through the digital signature tools. After the document is signed, it will be attached in PipeFi automatically in a defined field, moving the request forward. In approval, a connected request is created in the approval flow. There, the approval criteria determines if this request must go through one, two or three approval levels. 
It is also possible to define if these approvals must run separately or in order. All these rules can be related to data in the process, such as value, type, or requester area. In this example, the approval flow runs in order and the level of approval is defined by the value related to each request. In this manner, the approval flow runs automatically, avoiding error and efficiently moving the request forward. To make the interface among the team and the approvers easier, PipeFi allows approvers to answer requests without leaving their daily tools. This way, we can guarantee that requests will not go unnoticed and we will also improve the approval flow lead time. In this example, the first approver is the requester's manager. Knowing that all managers have access to direct message tools, such as Microsoft Teams and Slack, we will send the approval through those tools. The manager then receives a message and will click in Approve, so the request can move forward automatically. Now, the second approver is a person external to the organization. So, we can connect PipeFi to SMS providers and send the approval request directly on their phone. Once again, the approver receives a message and by clicking in the response, the request moves forward instantly. And finally, the last approver is the company CEO that is accessible by email. Here, we send the approval request using PipeFi's email templates. In the email, we added two possibilities. The CEO can either click the link to the approval phase and answer it there, or they can click the answer buttons below, immediately completing the approval flow. As you can see, by identifying and applying different tools in our process, approval flows can take minutes to be completed. Moving back to the request management flow, we can see that the request we worked on has already been completed after the approval flow is done. To make sure the requester experience was successful, a satisfaction survey is sent. Now, jumping to the perspective of the leaders, they can verify the requester satisfaction and the team's performance by using the dashboards tool or by connecting PipeFi to other business intelligence platforms such as Tableau and Power BI. With dashboards, the leaders will have visibility of process metrics, operation performance, and will be able to identify improvement opportunities such as reducing the amounts of reopened requests per month, Either in dashboards or in the process itself, customization and continuous improvement is only a few clicks away with the simplicity of the low-code interface. You can add a new chart in your dashboard or, for example, we can create a new step in the workflow to optimize your process. Additionally, we can control process permissions clicking in people and changing the roles of your team. In this manner, you gain total governance over your operation, since all tools and data are at hand to provide a seamless process that evolves continuously. With that, we finished this quick demonstration of a classic request management process. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to our community or get in contact with our team through email or through the PipeFi chat.